When I'm here in Bin in the autumn and look out the window, I sometimes see a doe or a stag without especially looking for them. I love nature. You really have to as a farmer. Growing up in the middle of these natural surroundings, on this soil, it's really a beautiful area. It's a quiet valley. At least it still is. And we get along with everyone. I don't remember any fighting between families in the last 50 years. From time to time, we get customers who don't have a clue about minerals. They'll ask if we carve the stone ourselves, or how long it takes them to grow, or where we should put them in the cellar to grow them. Most of the people in this location, in the Bintal, actually are very hard-working farmers and carpenters and so on, and have very little time for, for painting. <laughs> But they're the most honest people you can possibly imagine. And that's, by, by the way, one of these things that really attracted me to the Pintar. Probably because the hotel didn't recover economically after the war years, the furniture wasn't thrown away. If it had done well, the old furniture probably would have been tossed onto a pile and burnt. Bin is a place of mystical power. Many people come because of that and the minerals, but mainly to hike. I feel the power myself because I'm rarely, if ever, sick. But there are many visitors who say they feel better being here. It's a passion to search for the stones, always driven by the excitement of a new discovery. If you find minerals, you have to be able to sell them somehow. I took over this shop from my father, who took it over from his father. We don't do anything special. We focus on building interiors like doors and the renovation of old houses, kitchens, and we make wooden toys when we have time. We work almost exclusively with local wood, with coniferous, that means mainly spruce, pine and larch. I mainly have cattle. My income comes mostly from milk production and selling the animals, as well as the Alp cheese we make. That's become more popular among customers. I don't regret not living anywhere else, because I don't know what would have become of me somewhere else. I've got my family and my work here, so I'm satisfied. I'm not sure if I would have been better somewhere else. No, I don't regret staying here. About 20 years ago, I tried to find something else in addition to my work as a, as a businessman. And I found that painting was really the thing that really got me onto a different track and really got my imagination going and so on. Once you really live here, and I've lived here now for most of the year, for 20 years, you become part of that surrounding. And although I don't want to actually figuratively present that in a picture, it is an impression that you have in the back of your mind. And then I more or less forget that. And I start painting very gesturally. And as I continue painting, it becomes totally abstract. And once I'm finished, I'm surprised that some of these things, they remind me of the original thought, although I hadn't actually wanted to do that. <laughs> I think there are very few places in the world that are as inspiring as a natural place as, as the Bintal is. Mm -hmm.